Okay, you need to remove two screws. The top case one and the power supply. With an ordinary Phillips screwdriver. Flip the box over. Three tags at the front, you need to release all three. One, two, three. And hopefully, the box should slide backwards out of the top carrier. Flip the box over to you, remove the two screws on the top, one, two. Be careful here that you don't damage the ribbon cable, flip up once there. Remove three screws from the edge of the box. One, two, three. Take the lid off. Power supplies here. Normally these components are damaged or blown. Remove the plug and the four screws holding the power supply down. One. Two. Three. Best thing here to hold the fan is to hold the two rubber things back, pull the fan forward, release that fourth screw, the fan then should go back in place, take the power supply out, remove the plug carefully, pop the plug back in, pop the PSU back in, Plug it in. And pop the four screws back in. One. Two. Three. And four. Sometimes you'll find that the fan does move and, the, and the, the rubber pins come out. Normally a matter of just pushing a small screwdriver into the end and you can then pull those back out. And the fan should go back in place. Next step is to pop the, the lid back on. Being careful not to damage the ribbon cable. Pop the two small screws back in the top. Three in the ends. Oops, wrong screw. From the top there, there we go. Oops. Flip the box over. Pop it at a slight angle down to the carrier. Drop it into place and it should then slide forward, like that, pop back over, pop the power supply holding screw back in, and the top case screw in, and that's it.